Bitcoin is exploding. In the last video, I told you if Bitcoin breaks resistance, $30,500, it's going to explode. Check out yourself right here. If Bitcoin flips this resistance, we are going to fly. You can see we used this. And that's exactly what happened. And I left my drawings from the previous video. I had huge support. 30,500 support again, and then this is where we flipped and used that support into resistance. We traded under it, and I said right here, if we get to 30,500 and we break it uh, for the third time after testing it for the third time, we're going to fly to 35,500. And I thought we would see some sort of pullback retest this area which is the 30.5 area and then fly to the 36,000 range but one candle if we're looking on the weekly it was one day we just exploded and we hit the target and now I will delete this right here this is what I think is going to happen next we're going to take a quick look at Bitcoin dominance as well I just got into my new office I set up the desk I'm about to set up the green screen uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to jump into the Discord because we're sharing everything from like new IDOs, new platforms, new dApps launching, our trade setups. We had some really great trade setups that just smashed their targets. So now with Bitcoin making new higher highs and higher lows. So if you can see here previously when we started like crashing down, Bitcoin was making lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs, lower low. And this is uh, the lower high, which it tested this previous high you can see, but we broke that downtrend. We broke that trend line and we started to create a higher high right here. We can say that we tested this previous lower high here and then we came to make a lower high because it wasn't lower than this. And we retested that. That was a great buy right here. The 20,000 area, $21,000. Everybody wishes they could go back. I know a lot of people who are sidelined as of right now waiting for Bitcoin to retrace. A lot of people ask me for my advice. How, when, where should I get into Bitcoin? And I always take the time to help these people. And it's usually the same people who ask me over years. I see the same messages one year ago, two years ago, five years ago. Should I buy Bitcoin? I always have the same answer. Dollar cost average, get Bitcoin. You're asking me the same questions. I don't even reply, I just read them now. Because it's like, I don't waste my energy if you're not gonna take my advice and I'm like pouring my heart to give you the best advice. And it's free, I'm not charging. So going back to the structure, we're making a lower high, a higher low right here. And we continued up. We continued to make lower highs. Higher, higher highs and higher lows. So we went up, we came back down, and now this is a fresh higher high. So can this still go? We're at major resistance if you take a look at this. So if I clear my chart right now, let's remove drawings. So this is the trend that we're looking at right here. This is what we're looking for. We aren't going to purchase on the push up. If you're not already in Bitcoin, like maybe start dollar cost averaging, you should have been doing that. But this has just exploded. And let's look at the percentage gain from, yeah, about 30%. Bouncing off this moving average as well. In the video, I said that the moving averages, they're like laying horizontally on each other. It's getting spread very thin. This is where we're going to see a move. And we exploded to the upside. I didn't know where we were going, but we exploded to the upside. I am going to wait. So as you can see, here is massive resistance and support. It's the previous 30,000, 30,500, 30, 31,000 area. You can see support support resistance 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 and now here is the next one in my opinion 37k right here and we can use like boxes or one single line i'm more so looking at this area and if you use a line chart 
it could be easier so you can see yeah here 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 which is about the 37k area 37 37.5k so i'm thinking that bitcoin can run a little bit more and it might do so before retracing before giving you that pullback so i'm not going to ape into a buy right now if we're looking at the bitcoin dominance chart you can see that we were suppressed in this channel for quite some time we broke out and now bitcoin dominance is on a run i think that we will jump from 55 percent to the 57 percent so about a five percent move in bitcoin dominance which i think bitcoin price will follow to the upside i don't think we're done pumping the halving let me pull that up right now the halving is in 170 days and historically bitcoin pumps in the months prior to the halving i'm in dubai right now every vc i've met i've been to a ton of investor and vc events they are aggressively you know getting into new projects getting positioned for the market because they think we're going to explode in the next six to 12 months the having has always been an amazing catalyst but it's just one of the factors that leads up to bitcoin's price and the mo uh, upward movement so that is a huge factor for me though i'm not going to sleep on that every day that passes we're a day closer to the having and just looking back at previous havings like you want to be in bitcoin you don't want to be holding fiat you don't want to be holding stable coins it's just bitcoin is the move so if we're looking at 37 uh the 37k area as a target or as the next resistance we still have a little bit of movement to go so this is kind of what i'm looking at right here if we get rejected here this could be a short we can also pump up over the 37k and then fall back down so that would be where you would want to get in the short i don't recommend it for people who are just beginning to trade especially when you're shorting the opposite trend um, direction. So if you're if the Bitcoin is showing long, showing higher highs and higher lows, you're not going to counter trade it unless you know what you're doing. Here you're gonna be looking for good longs. So as I mentioned, if we don't stop here and we're looking on a higher time frame, and we come back and bounce on the 37 and use this as support, we could be getting a huge long in this area. This is the one that I'm looking for a, a better long to size up more because if it keeps pushing, the I'd be I would be weary of going into a large position. I would want to see this come back down in the thirty-one thousand area, and then I would be pretty comfortable uh, longing the breakout here. I could look, and we can go into smaller time frames that still applies when you're going in the daily, in the four hour, in the one hour, those smaller time frames will start to create uh, the same patterns that you would see on larger time frames. So I would see a downtrend. And when that downtrend on the smaller time frame gets broken, and then it's in line with my larger time frame, that's when I can take a nice entry and hopefully we go up to the upside. Or I could just buy the 31,000 area. So as soon as it comes here, I can buy it and if it starts breaking under, I can exit the trade. That's kind of what I'm looking at right here. Right now, it's kind of like escalated too high, too quick. I'm per position in Bitcoin, I'm like pretty well, pretty much all in Bitcoin right now, uh, all in the crypto market 100%. But to take extra leverage trades, to take like, yeah, a margin trade or add 5 or 10x leverage, I'm going to wait till I find a good setup. I hope Bitcoin just keeps pumping to the moon, but if I want to take a good trade, I'm going to look for the 31,000 area, and I'm hoping we could just bounce to 37,000. I think we jumped, uh, I don't want to say too high too quick, because this is Bitcoin and we haven't seen anything yet, but before the halving, I would like to find like a good entry that I can get in a nice position and hold that for some more upwards uh, action. We might even consolidate for a little bit here before moving up. And that's just bouncing between 31,000 and even 35,000. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I am bullish on Bitcoin. I think that we've broken this huge uh, resistance ranging from March 2023. 
And it was a huge area of interest in my opinion. And with the amount of strength that we've seen, this I don't think will fall back, and should I say it, uh, maybe ever under $20,000 again. I don't think Bitcoin will. If you missed that, if you missed $16,000, um, you know, you, you need a new strategy because sitting in cash, you might be sidelined for the next bull market if you just keep waiting for Bitcoin to come down. I could share the memes with the skeleton, but I wouldn't be waiting. Dollar cost average, look for another coin that hasn't exploded like Bitcoin. Pretty much every alt, every good alt has just been flying. And we'll do those charts after. I'm going to end it here. That's what I've shared uh, my thoughts on Bitcoin, where I think we're going to go. I think we'll actually pump up to the 37K area before we come back down to 31,000. If we come back down to 31K, I will look for a position here. I could hopefully be able to long this. So you can see, as I mentioned with market structure, this is the new higher high. Wherever it goes from 37, 35, we could use our Fibonacci's to look for a great place to retrace. And then with that retrace, we would be buying the higher low and expecting it to make another leg up. So. I don't want to rush into the buy. We're looking at the weekly time frame. So these candles will take some time to formulate. And I'm not going to rush into this. If Bitcoin goes higher, it goes higher. I'll be more than happy. But if it comes down, 31,000, 31.2 area is the area I'm looking to be long in, to buy more, to take a leverage position, and hopefully hit the next leg up. If we do use some fibs, we can take a look at where I think, if this is the top, if 35K is the top, um, let's say I get my buy at 31,500. So my target would be from there 37K and then 42K. Those would be my targets. That's when I can start taking profit. My target for Bitcoin in the bull market, way higher, but that's just following the trade that I'd be taking and um, I'll be on YouTube sharing my trade. If it comes down there, I'll be sharing my position in the Discord, but pretty much there every day, sharing all the new trades, all the new IDOs, new platforms, new dApps, you name it. So join the Discord. More importantly, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. We're going to Barcelona, and I, and I think about a week now for Dex Tools, the Dex Force Festival. It's gonna be crazy. I'm hosting two workshops, a panel, and I'm emceeing the awards, so I want you guys to be there. And that's pretty much it. Enjoy the beautiful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.